Hey, this is Miragloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Flat World Challenge. The goal is to get 20 gold ingot, or I'm sorry, 80 gold ingots, and to make 20 gold blocks. Uh, recently I've had, uh, oh boy, there's, it's night and there's zombies, but, oh, whoa, he's moving pretty fast. I'll quickly show you what a Menger sponge is, which is the goal. I'm going to make one out of gold. And it requires 20 blocks to make the smallest possible menger sponge. And I'm going to make that out of gold. And the way that I get the uh, gold ingots is either by uh, searching for NPC villages with chests to loot that sometimes have gold or diamonds. And also going into the nether and killing zombie pigmen. And it is dark this night. And I'm just going to try and find where my breadcrumb trail is. And then move on to the next NPC village. Okay, there's stuff there, but I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to do a time lapse like I normally do. I'm just going to cut, wait, where is my breadcrumbs? There they are. I'm just going to cut away into where you next see the next NPC village. Alright, we're in the next NPC village, and I kind of lied when I said I wasn't going to do a time lapse and was just going to cut to the next village. I immediately remembered after saying that, that the whole point that I do the time lapse instead of just cutting is not necessarily because I'm concerned whether or not people believe whether or not I'm using any kind of cheats, but in the I do record the time lapse in the in case of the event that I should die, I don't want to end the series suddenly saying, oh, I died off camera. Because uh, if I do die, that's going to be part of the... Uh, what? Is that a little... I have never seen a NPC villager kid. They run around fast, don't they? Not very fast, but they run around. Oh, there's <laughs> a skeleton. Ow! I guess he doesn't want me... Oh, I just accidentally hit the kid with a sword. Uh, so that appears to be all the chests. There's another one in this village. The only blacksmith there, and there wasn't anything particularly interesting. And I will time-lapse onward to the next village. But, uh... I was trying to avoid doing the time-lapse. I found a way to avoid doing the time-lapses because... Uh, sometimes they can be upwards to... 45 seconds, which is uh, kind of boring just to sit there, unless there's something like in my other videos, there's something to listen to, like some music, but uh, uh, music isn't really, uh, doesn't really belong in these videos. I can't really explain that in any better, but we're going to time lapse again to the next village. Alright, here's another NPC village. Quite familiar with how they look now. They all look pretty much the same. And so, I've been hearing a lot about, uh, and I'm going to get topical here, sorry, but uh, the about people not liking the ending of uh, Mass Effect 3. And I, don't, I haven't really played the Mass Effect uh, games. But uh, I did read the ending and saw some videos about it. I won't make any spoilers. But uh, I kind of sympathize considering uh, 
people seem not so much upset about the uh, ending itself, but the lack of variety of multiple endings, as was promised. And technically there were multiple endings, but the difference between them was not very great. And uh, I bring this up mostly because uh, how serious a lot of, uh, or a few people are, I don't know the quantity of them, but uh, take this matter and uh, there's someone on a, there's no blacksmith here, uh, online forum that I frequent who's very militant about, come on, militant about uh, getting Bioware to change the ending, or at least have a uh, D new DLC to pay for for a better endings, and it's kind of drawn an is interesting question between whether or not uh, how much creative uh, control game developers have regarding the uh, their endings, whether or not it's a work of art or something that uh, fans, the people who consume the product, have uh, control over. And it's pretty interesting. But uh, even though I do think the the ending is kind of lame and not as it should be, uh, I kind of have to agree with the point that it, it is what the developers made. And... A lot of people feel that the like last 10 minutes ruin the rest of the game experience. But I don't know, I think it's kind of a uh, the journey that makes it worth it. Not that I've played Mass Effect 3, so maybe that's why... Maybe I don't fully understand because of that. I'm not sure if I will end up playing Mass Effect, any of the Mass Effect games. But uh, we're going to time lapse again to the next village. Alright, two villages. I'm going to go over here first because I see a blacksmith. Oh, and I'm hungry. Ooh, I'm kind of running low on food. In fact, I see two blacksmiths right across from each other. So... One argument I saw regarding the Mass Effect ending thing was that... Well, I saw two sides of an argument, actually whether or not, pro and con, whether or not uh, the fans have a right to demand a change in the actual ending. And one side is uh, making the argument that it would be ridiculous in comparison as if someone demanded a change to uh, a, uh, a, a, not a series of novels, like... Uh, like Lord of the Rings, if for some reason 80% of the uh, fan base of Lord of the Rings were unhappy with the ending, even though those books were written quite some time ago, it would be ridiculous to have them demand that uh, Tolkien rewrite the ending simply because it was not liked, because it's his art. And then... The other side of the argument for pro change counters that argument that the difference between a game and something like a movie or a book is that the game you interact with at a greater level. And you not only just... You have a certain level of control over what happens, and you... Basically, the argument is that the exper that you experience it or you interact with the experience much more. But I kind of disagree. Even though I, when I read a book or watch a movie, I don't have uh, control over what progresses, but I am interacting with the story quite a bit as I go through, as I read through a book or watch a movie. I sort of make my own predictions and the uh, the plot twists and turns, you know keep me close 
within the realm of the story of what's being told. So, whoa, Iron Golem. So I kind of, th that's, I suppose that's why I don't think, uh, even though the ending is not very good, that I don't think that the fans necessarily have a, uh, not so much a right, but a, uh, entitlement for the ending to be changed. I don't think fans of Mass Effect are entitled to a change, although I do think they have a right to ask for it, is my thoughts on the matter. So were there three blacksmiths here? Not one gold ingot. That's disappointing. Alright, well, I'm going to hole up in the church here. Oh, they ruined this door. There's sloppy zombies. Am I wearing a... Oh, okay. I was about to say, did I make a gold helmet? I'd be very angry if I wasted gold ingots doing that. It'd be such a stupid thing to do. Anyways, uh... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of talked about Mass Effect 3's ending. Uh, a lot of people are talking about that right now, so... Uh, sorry if you did not like me getting topical. And, uh... Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you again soon.